Nine ways to indulge your sweet tooth, high quality style. Hey, it's Deanna here to help to tell you that just because sugar ain't good for you, doesn't mean you have to kiss your sweet tooth goodbye forever. But first, why am I talking about high quality sweeteners? We've all heard that too much highly processed refined sugar can have devastating effects on your metabolism and contribute to all sorts of diseases. This is no joke, and here's why. Sugar equals tons of calories with no essential nutrients. All it does is cause tooth decay by literally feeding harmful bacteria in your mouth. If you eat high quantities of refined processed sugar but don't exercise, you are at risk for the fructose derived from an excess of sugar to get lodged in your liver and cause non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. When you consume too much sugar, it can cause resistance to the hormone insulin, which can lead to diseases like metabolic syndrome, obesity, cardiovascular disease, and type two diabetes. An excess amount of sugar can have a devastating effect on your metabolism, which is known to lead to cancer. Sugar is highly addictive because after ingestion, it causes a huge release of dopamine in your brain. Sugar is a major contributor to heart disease, which is the number one killer in the world. But what many people don't realize is that there are healthier alternative sweeteners out there that won't damage your health as much and taste just as sweet, if not more. So what are some of these high quality sweetener alternatives to processed sugar? The first one is stevia. It's a plant used, and excuse my pronunciation, by the Guarani people of South America for more than 1,500 years. It tastes about 300 times sweeter than table sugar. There's no calories, no impact on blood sugar, and may reduce blood pressure. Make sure to buy only 100% leaf, whole leaf stevia, and look for REB-A. Second one is xylitol a sugar alcohol that is neither sugar nor alcohol, but is actually an organic compound. It's about the same sweetness as table sugar, and it comes from a non-GMO plant source. It's low in calorie and no effect on blood sugars. Erythritol, also known as, also known as a sugar like xylitol. It's about 70% sweet as table sugar and tastes just like it. It is 100% erythritol. Nearly non-caloric, doesn't spike your blood sugar, and is easily digested. The fourth one is coconut palm sugar. It's from the sap of a cut flower bud of the coconut palm. It's the same sweetness as table sugar. It so look for labels that say coconut sugar, coconut crystals, or coconut palm sugar. It has a low glycemic index and contains some nutrients and fiber. Agave is produced from the leaves of this Mexican succulent plant, the agave. It is about one and a half times sweeter than table sugar. Make sure to buy organic agave. It also lowers the glycemic index more than table sugar does. And the sixth one is honey. Bees, bees, bees. Slightly sweeter than table sugar by raw, local, and organic honey. It can help boost immune system and seasonal allergies and soothe sore throats. The seventh is leucoma powder, produced from this tropical fruit native to South America. It's got a sweet maple flavor. Make sure it's 100% leucoma powder. It can help boost your immune system and has no effect on blood sugar and contains nutrients. The eighth one is maple syrup, made from the sap of sugar, red, or black maple trees. It's about three times sweeter than table sugar, 
by Organic Pure Grade B Maple Syrup. It's lower fructose content than table sugar, but don't be fooled, it's still sugar. The ninth one is monk fruit or lohangao, made from a green melon that grows in the mountaintops of Asia. It's about 200 or 300 times sweeter than table sugar. Buy pure monk fruit or pure lohangao sweetener. Non-caloric and no impact on blood sugar and it may be anti-inflammatory. So how can you use one of these alternative sweeteners in your cooking? Here is an awesome, healthy, and sweet recipe for candied walnuts to get you started. Prep time's about five minutes, serves four. It's one cup raw walnuts, chopped or whole, one teaspoon of cinnamon, two tablespoons of coconut oil, one tablespoon of honey, and salt to taste. So in a medium hot frying pan, add your coconut oil, your walnuts, your cinnamon, and, and salt, and cook until toasted, which is about 10 minutes. And in the last couple minutes, add the honey for a sweeter taste. So what do you do now? If you are unhappily addicted to processed sugar and want to make a change that will greatly benefit your health, then click on the link now, and let's talk about the next best steps you can take. I will show you how to get started so you can begin to reduce or eliminate processed sugar in your diet and substitute with alternative sweeteners that will completely change your life. Cheers to your health. Deanna.